Jeff Williams here with SUVs at Con. In this video, we're gonna do some work on the drift mine today. We're gonna drill and load around and blow out some gold. All that and a whole lot more coming up. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to find gold and be successful at it while learning other gold mining related stuff, start now by clicking the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon, that way you don't miss anything. Alright, as you can see the ground is really soft in this area, so we had to put more sets in. And I'm going to show you how we're locking those sets together, especially now that we're dropping in an incline. So come on, let's go! The reason why I'm just in my t-shirt is because there's a clay seam down here that's got a lot of moisture in it. And the moisture is released in here in the form of humidity. And it's making everything wet and rusty and darn right uncomfortable. Look at this. See the water collecting on there and it's rusting everything? Water all along my vent pipe. And I'll tell you what, it's like being in a sauna down here. All right, as we continue to drive this drift down deeper, we need communication down here. We use these, these are military phones. We got a couple of them and we're stringing them along in the drifts. That way I have communication up on the surface in case there's a problem or if I need supplies brought down or timber or anything else. Just like that. Yeah, what you got? Well, I'm trying to drive a drift, just like you said. All right, all right, I'm working as fast as I can. I got people down here. I gotta go. Yeah, yeah, I know. All right, as we're driving this incline in here at about a 20 degree dip, our timbers have to correspond with that. Now, whenever you're putting in sets or stalls, these posts have to sit 90 degrees to the angle of the dip in order for them to be effective. And usually in the mines on the shafts or the inclines, you'll see what? Hanging bolts. And those hanging bolts lock the sets together because when they're sitting at an angle like this, they have a tendency to want to rock forward even if you've got them blocked in the back. Now here you can see where I've put one of the hanging bolts to lock this set together with this set. Instead of using traditional hanging bolts, we're using all thread and we're locking them together with couplers. Now I'm gonna be locking one set in with another. I'm gonna show you how it's done. <laughs> Now as things move around down here and shift and sometimes warp because of moisture, I like to go around and I'll tap my hanging bolts and I'll listen for a specific tone. See that one's a little different. I'm going to tighten that one up just a little bit. Alright, now i got to put my vent pipe in because i got to breathe down here. I got my hanging wires right here, you see that? That way I can just hang it up. It's bolted into that cap right there. There. See how soft that is? Look at that. Chips and crystals in here is another one right there. 
Oh, look at that one. See that one? Right there? Look at that. Right there, see if I can get it out with my finger. Right there. Look at that. Isn't that nice? See how soft that is? I dig it with my hands. That's why you gotta shore it up. Now it's time to muck it all out, son of Jim. Rocks and all. Now when this cart is full, it'll hold about four, maybe five buckets of material because our skip car holds four buckets. And so that's why we built it this way. Then we run it back on the track. Then we dump it into the, the hopper, the war bin. Then it loads up our buckets onto the skip. Uh, and then we hoist them to the surface. Now we got two colors of buckets. We've got green and we've got white. Green means that it's muck, that it's worth nothing. White means that it's good material. So when Slim sees a white bucket, he knows to hold on to it and dump it into the pile that has gold in it. Now every now and then we sample our waste pile to make sure there's no gold in it. We got our green buckets in the poop chutes. And then we're gonna back up the uh, ore cart, dump them in. And that fills it up real nice. Then we take the skip and we haul it over to the shaft. Ah, dang, spiders are everywhere down here. Uh, got a spider problem down here. Keep feeling one on my back. Do you see anything, huh? <laughs> Then we'll get on to drilling, loading around, and blasting out some gold. Because I know that's what you want to see. Ooh, and I want to see it too. Ooh, so you know what I'm going to say. Ooh, you better. I already got my holes drilled, and I loaded around, and we're ready to go. So you guys want to see what happens? Mm hmm That's what I thought. So you know what I'm going to say, huh? Oh, you better. So come on. Let's go. Fire the hole. Fire the hole. Fire the hole. All right, let's get on in there. Take a look. Yeah, look at that. Oh, there's my hammer drill. Right there. Get my fire line. Move my light bulbs out. Look at that. Blew this whole wall out. Look at that. I'm glad I didn't mess up my gold bug too. I threw my hammer drill all the way over here. I busted out my light bulbs. Look at that. All right, let's get on in there and metal detect, see what we got. Let's get that metal detector. Dust off of it. Cut up on the wire. Get that hammer out of the way. 
Alright. Get that out of the way so there's no metal. Uh, look at that. Blew it clean out. Right there. That is nice. Broke this wall all out there. Look at that. I had my light down in there. Alright. Get this thing fired up. Here we go. Oh. Come on. Uh. 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 Uh, there's a nail right there, you see that? Too much wire from the blast. Yeah. There's another one right there. Get that wire out of there. Get my light out of there. Oh. Okay, let's try it again. Turn the sensitivity down just a little bit. Look at that! That's what I'm talking about, boy! Look at that! That is what I'm talking about right there! Woo! Yeah! Look at that thing! That's huge! I wonder if it's the size of this! That'd be one ouncer! Oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, man. Okay, let's break it open. I gotta know, where's my hammer at? Oh, where's my hammer? 
for I'll use my axe. I don't want to damage it. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, let's break that monker open. I don't want to hurt it, so I'm gonna flip it over. What the heck? Oh there it is! <laughs> Oh my god, you see the side of that thing? Ooh, yeah! That's what I'm talking about, son! Look at the size of that nugget! Oh my gosh! That's what I'm talking about, son of Jim, right there! Now that's a nugget! That's a man's nugget right there! Oh, I bet you that thing looks good when it's all clean. No, I told you the one ounces were coming out of there. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, son. That's what I'm talking about. Let me get this off. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, son. That's what I'm talking about right there, and I got my premium patrons to thank for it. Thank each and every one of them. And one of them's gonna get this. That's gotta be three quarter ounce, easy. Close to an ounce. I told you they were down here. Ooh, yeah. How'd you like to get a nugget like that, son? Huh? Well, maybe if you were a premium patron, you just might. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, that's real nice. That's real nice. Mm, oh, yeah. You know where it's going, right? My right, right in my mouth. Mmm. Look at that! Oh, look at it! Look at it! Oh, isn't that beautiful? Mmm, yeah! And I know there's more back in there because I was getting targets back there too. Mmm, some lucky Peary patron's gonna get that monka right there, yeah! Mmm, I tell you what, and I know there's more back there because I had two other targets, you heard it! And of course I want to thank each and every one of my premium patrons for helping me keep the dream alive because I couldn't do any of this without them. And that's the truth and you know it. And speaking of premium patrons, we got that treasure hunt coming up at the end of the month. Make sure you get your map because it'll lead you right to the treasure. <laughs> Treasures filled with silver Morgan coins, silver bars, and a gold bar, too. Thousands of dollars worth inside of that box. And if you got the right date on one of those silver Morgans, it could be worth $20,000. I tell you what, Forrest Finn, move over. There's a new treasure in town. This one's easier to find. And I want to thank everyone that made it out to our Osceola tour and helped me find Jack Brown's cabin. Ooh, and all those gold nuggets out there, too. Mmm, I love that stuff. Treasure hunts, three-day gold mining trips, Giant gold nuggets. Ooh, I tell you what, it doesn't get any better than that. And if this sounds like something you want to be a part of, all you got to do is look for the little icon at the end of the video that looks something like... Yeah, it looks like that. All you got to do is click on it, make a $10 pledge, and you're in like Flynn. Well, I'm going to get on out of here because I got more gold nuggets to find. Yeah, for my premium patrons. So, all right, so until next time, this is Jeff Williams and who? You better know who, son. Saying you like drift mining because of all the potential gold. Well, you better get involved, son, before you get too old. Take care, everybody.